Eric Keller here with Enthusiast Auto Group. We are in EAG Super Secret Warehouse number two, and today we're going to focus on analog. This building is full of analog, and these analog cars are what many of us, most of us, nearly all of us have fallen in love with over the years and, and what has drawn so many enthusiasts to the brand. And while there's no shortage of cars in this room we could pick to, to highlight what analog feels like, drives like, smells like, sounds like, uh, today I wanted to focus on the E39 M5. It is a staple of our inventory and has been uh, since they were new cars. And these E39 M5s really are the end of that M5 era of analog for, for many of us enthusiasts. And today we've got uh, about a dozen or so M5s in stock. And this one in particular is kind of a cool one to show for the fact that not very many people have seen this color in person. And I wanted to go over some of the different unique attributes of the M5 that maybe some of us previous owners of these M5s maybe have forgotten. And uh, uh, it's really a, a tactile exchange between man and machine driving this model, uh, especially when they're in their peak operating performance, uh, fully sorted and, and uh, as close to new as possible, which is obviously uh, uh, what we're very uh, adamant about doing these days. Down to those noises, um, it's just, it's kind of like an old friend uh, with these things. Uh, this is a Silverstone interior. Uh, this car, it's really hard to believe, has 59,000 miles on it. And it still has that new car smell and that thud of the door. And a lot of you guys remember these lights here at the top would deplete as the engine warms up and we've got this beautiful warning here <laughs> saying uh, you know pay attention to traffic and obey the laws and buckle your seat belts and uh, the service indicator lights there that will deplete as the engine oil uh, is um, worn out uh, slowly but surely they reset when you get your service done we tend to go by the service stickers that we put up there in the top but um, you know this is really a, a just a great platform designed and engineered in Germany uh, for primarily the German market. Um, of course, the US market at that point, North American market, was the bread and butter sales wise. Um, you know, when you put uh, in reverse, you know, when you put it, uh, your mirror switch to the driver's side, the mirror dips down. And we've got this lovely button folding the mirrors in. Oh, there it is. And folding the mirrors out. Of course, when you're on the narrow streets in Europe, uh, that certainly helps. Uh, you know, these cars really are a very tactile uh, driving, you know, experience. You know, with the, of course, the six-speed, all of them came six-speed, as, as I'm sure everybody watching this knows. Um, where, you know, that choice certainly isn't um, always an option moving forward with some of the newer stuff. Uh, you know, this car has had a really great ownership history and two owners in total but one primary owner that took fantastic care of it he had just a couple dining bits the tower brace and rear tower brace and some mufflers naturally aspirated five liter s62 shared with the z8 of course I mean, driving this car is really a, a it's, it's, it's a reward, really. I mean, it's, it's a treat. We've got everything on the car back to new. Both the window stickers, of course, the VHS, and the uh, navigation, the original wood shift knob, CD. Both the window stickers there. This is an M Audio car. And uh, you know what? Let's uh, say goodbye to all of these cars and 
head out. It's funny, the majority of our E39 M5 buyers have owned one of these before. It, I mean, almost, not all, but almost all. And, uh, nope, didn't get the garage door shut. There we go. So, with these guys coming back for more, you know, that says a lot about the model, about the platform. It just, you know, it, it overall made them very, very happy. And, you know, there's not a lot of cars that were so good that we had to own it for a second time. We've got a guy coming in tomorrow. He's owned four M5s, three different VIN numbers because he bought his old car back from us. <laughs> oh, Brett, I've uh, been a good friend for a long time. Uh, and uh, we're gonna see about putting him in his fifth M5. Might be this one. Probably should be. This is one you can drive and enjoy. And not have to worry too much about. We've taken all of the risk out of it and uh, you can just jump in and drive it, enjoy it, have a great time. And we are at EAG HQ right over there. So if you are interested in an E39 M5 or the analog experience, you want to come into Cincinnati and have your EAG experience, we certainly encourage you to do so. Once we've identified the right car for the right enthusiast and we've taken care of all of the final checks and quality control, we'd love to have them out and, and go through uh, what we call the EAG experience where we go out and spend a lot of time, have a lot of fun, go uh, do a whole lot of fun driving and get under the cars and go through all the different facilities driving uh, building to building. We've got six buildings now on campus with the uh, opening of our newest mechanical workshop. So we are uh, super excited for what the future holds for EAG and especially our Rejuve program that has become uh, really the core of our business at this point. We've got a lot of customers shipping their cars in from all over the place to benefit from everything that we're doing these days and doing right and ensuring that the cars are going to be around for a long time. Look at that, analog. We've got our lights on. <laughs> so the cars will be around for a long time for us to enjoy. So thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for more. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Got a lot more stuff coming. See ya.